Hello students, welcome back for an another video on the topic trigonometrical ratios. In our previous video, we have discussed about the six T ratios which were sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosecant theta, secant theta and cotangent theta. Now, we are going to discuss how to find T ratios when two sides will be given to us. So students, let us discuss some example based on this topic. Now, our topic is finding T ratios when two sides are given to us. Students, for finding the T ratios, what we need? We need all the three sides of a right angle triangle. Since we will be given two sides, so our first step will be that we are going to find the third side of a right angle triangle by applying Pythagoras theorem. And then we are going to find all the six T ratios from there. For example, we have a sum here in which Triangle ABC is a right angled triangle at B and the reference angle theta is given to us at vertex C. And we are given that the length of AB is 12 cm and the length of BC is 5 cm. So before proceeding to our sum, our first step will be that we are going to identify base, perpendicular and the hypotenuse. So as we have discussed earlier in our previous videos, so which is the hypotenuse? It is the side opposite to 90 degree. So here AC is opposite to angle B that is 90 degree. So AC will be hypotenuse. And the side opposite to reference angle is the bay. And the side opposite to reference angle is the perpendicular. Now here AB is opposite to reference angle. So AB will be the perpendicular. And the third left out side is the base. So BC is the base for this question. So in triangle ABC, we have base is equal to 5 centimeter. Perpendicular is equal to 12 cm and the value of hypotenuse is missing. So we are going to find the value of hypotenuse using the Pythagoras theorem. So we have applied Pythagoras theorem in this sum that is h square is equal to b square plus p square. On substituting the values of b and p we get h square is equal to 5 square plus 12 square. The square of 5 is 25 and the square of 12 is 144. So on adding we get h square is equal to 169. So square will go that side and will become the under root. So therefore the under root of 169 is 13. So the value of h is 13 centimeter that is we get the value of AC is equal to 13 centimeter. As we have got all the values required for finding the 6 T ratios. So let us proceed for finding the 6 T ratios. The first T ratio that is the sine theta which is equal to P upon H and we substitute the values of P and H we get the answer as sine theta is equal to 12 upon 13. The second T ratio that is the cos theta which is equal to B upon H and substituting the values we get the answer as 5 upon 13. Students remember that sin theta and cos theta they are the simplest ratios of trigonometry. These two are the simplest and the smallest T ratios. Now the third T ratio that is the tan theta is equal to P upon B which is equal to 12 upon 5. Now the other three T ratios cosecant theta is equal to H upon P 
which is equal to 13 upon 12. Secant theta is equal to h upon b, which is equal to 13 upon 5. And cot theta or the cotangent theta is equal to b upon p, which is equal to 5 upon 12. Now, let us discuss one more sum for better clarity. In the second example, we are given that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle at vertex A and the reference angle theta is given at vertex C. The length of BC is 25 centimeter and the length of AB is 7 centimeter. So now let us identify base, perpendicular and hypotenuse from this figure now. The side opposite to 90 degree which is BC will be the hypotenuse. The side opposite to reference angle that is AB will be the perpendicular. And the left out side which in this case is AC will be the base. So now in triangle ABC we have the value of H as 25 the value of P as 7 cm and the value of base we need to find. So as it is a right angle triangle, we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem. So we get on applying Pythagoras theorem, H square is equal to B square plus P square. On substituting the values of H and P, we get 25 square is equal to b square plus 7 square. The square of 25 is 625 and the square of 7 is 49. So we get 625 is equal to b square plus 49. So now 49 will come this side and will get subtracted. So on subtracting we get b square is equal to 576. And now square will go that side and will become under root. So the under root of 576 is 24. So we get the value of AC as 24. Now, as we have got all the required values, now we can find all the 60 ratios very easily. The first one is sine theta, which is equal to P upon H which is equal to 7 upon 25. Cos theta is equal to B upon H, which is equal to 24 upon 25. Tan theta is equal to P upon B, which is equal to 7 upon 24. Cosecant theta is equal to H upon P, which is equal to 25 upon 7. Secant theta is equal to h upon b which is 25 upon 24. Cotangent theta is equal to b upon p which is equal to 24 upon 7. Now students, you all have got a worksheet in your SNAP homework based on these sums. Solve all those sums. Thank you and have a nice day.